Hi, I'm Matt Morris with InfoSec Sync. And I'm Nick Thomas with InfoSec Sync. And here we are at the ninth annual National Cyber Summit uh, here in Huntsville. And uh, we have a special guest with us here. So this is uh, Pat Sullivan with Cyber Huntsville. So uh, how's it going? Welcome, Good. Pat. Thank you all very much. It's an honor to be here. Yes, sir. So uh, tell us, uh, how are you enjoying the conference? And uh, what does Cyber Huntsville um, have that you want to share with our listeners? Yeah, so we're really excited about the conference. Cyber Huntsville is a co-sponsor, and I'm also a member of the National Cyber Conference Board. So it's been a great conference, and we're excited with all the people who are here. And we thank you all very much for the work you're doing this week as well. Excellent. Thank you so much. But I did want to take just a little bit of time to share with you all in the audience about um, an initiative that we've started within Cyber Huntsville okay. called the U.S. Cyber Camp. And, and of course, Cyber Huntsville is a 2010 initiative from Mayor Tommy Battle. And Tommy's thing was, is we need in the cyber community to exercise, we need to promote academics, and we need to advocate for industry in our specific re area mm -hmm. across the Tennessee Valley region. Okay. And so one of the things that we're trying to do in that regard is leverage what we already have in this community. Because when we look around the landscape, you know, Huntsville is the number two surveilled place in the nation. And now what we're starting to see is last year there were 209,000 cybersecurity positions across our nation that went unfilled. We had one million cybersecurity professionals working. In 2019, we're going to have a requirement for over 6 million cybersecurity Absolutely. professionals. And there's going to be another gap again. So how do we fill those gaps? Absolutely. How do we, how do we start looking forward and figuring out with a 500% increase in cybersecurity crimes, are we going to prevent those crimes and cut these folks off at the pass? When we look at what's really going on out there, we don't see the supply meeting the demand. Only 28% of college entering um, young people, students, students mm -hmm. entering college last year, selected a STEM science, technology, engineering, or math. 28% selected STEM most of those won't make it through a complete STEM program. So how can we start creating a bench for ourselves? How do we look forward? We need more. We know that. What Cyber Huntsville's done is we partnership with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And everyone knows U.S. Space Camp. Space Camp's been around since 1982. 750,000 graduates. They put 34,000 young people through that program last year. Wow. The difference is seven of those 750,000 have been into, have become astronauts. So most of them went on in other fields. Actually, 88% went on to work in a STEM related field in their degree of study. That's pretty solid, right? So we can see the, um, the greatness of what U.S. Space and Rocket Center has done with the U.S. Space Camp. Now, we also have a Tier 1 university right here in our own community in University of Alabama in Huntsville. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a DHS NSA acknowledged Center for Academic Excellence in Cybersecurity. So what we're trying to do in, as part of Cyber Huntsville is serve as a catalyst to bring those two together to create something that's going to be unique, mm -hmm. that's going to encourage young folks to... Um, understand more about cyber opportunities and fields and make it an immersive experience. Okay. If we just stand on the platform and lecture, they really won't come to an understanding and appreciation and a passion for what's available to them. Space and Rocket Center has a model. It's a proven model over the past 35 years. So what they do is they combine the great knowledge base and the learning with experiential learning as well. So now we're taking theory and practice into the same opportunity. The and we're going to leverage industry to come in and help them better understand what opportunities may exist for them after college. So we want to do it on three levels. Make it fun for them right now where they sit. Mm -hmm. Give them a vision for what they could do with their collegiate career. And then post-college, what kind of career work could they have? And let's help them become more passionate about it as we look forward. Okay, so Pat, what ages are the cyber camp for? Great, great question. So we're kind of moving into this um, slowly. We have an inaugural Pathfinders course that's gonna run the 23rd through the 28th of July at the US Space and Rocket Center. That course is specifically for 15 to 17 year old high school students. So we, we have a pool right now of about 50 students 
who've been nominated from across the state of Alabama. Okay. We have funding to support this initial course. So out of that 50, 32 are going to be selected. And throughout that week, we're going to leverage University of Alabama and Huntsville. We're going to leverage U.S. Space and Rocket Center and also the industry folks in and around Huntsville to support that specific class. Excellent. That's some good information. Awesome. Well, thank you, Pat. Thank yeah, you very thank much. You. And uh, thanks for everything that you're doing for Huntsville. So it's always good and refreshing to see that. Uh, very, very innovative program. And uh, we wish you great success with that. Thanks. So, um, And with that, thanks for, for staying, staying in, in sync, sync with InfoSec Sync. sync.